Welcome aboard Jean Mary, an 81-foot burger built in 1967. My name is Patrick Hopkins. Today we have the privilege of embarking on something special. Something that took nearly 97 years to bring to fruition. Through tireless commitment and centuries of experience to date, the Burger Boat Company has shifted the yachting paradigm. Burger has worked with notable designers and naval architects. Among them, Jack Hargrave, Raymond Hunt, and Donald O'Keefe. Their designs provide us with classic lines that withstand the test of time. If you have spent any time following the yachting industry, when you see Jean Mary, you will automatically know exactly what era she's from and from whose mind she was birthed. The usual knots you'll hear on an older boat are that she's smoky, her paint is worn, or that her decks are soft. When you step aboard Jean Mary, you will find none of these to be true. With a set of new John Deere diesels, not only is she quiet, but she is fuel efficient. We will get into those details later. Her hull sides, top sides, and deck have all been painted, giving a fresh look to her ageless lines. Today we are going to cruise on Lake Champlain in Burlington, Vermont, and take a step back in time while discovering what her owner has done to fill this classic vessel with modern touches. We start today's walkthrough in the cockpit. The owner has added a propane grill, making what used to be storage into an outdoor kitchen. The L-shaped seating area is a great place for a morning cup of coffee. Stepping up from the cockpit, we enter the upper salon, or as the owner refers to it, the sunroom. Here you can lounge around, read a book, have a drink at the bar, or just enjoy being on board one of America's most well-known builders, classic yachts. Moving forward through either the port or starboard doors brings us to the side decks. All the way forward on the bow, you'll find heavy duty ground tackle. Jean Mary has two galvanized anchors, both housed against stainless plates on either side of the bow. Our next stop is the pilot house. Here in the pilot house, you have a ladder to access the bridge, a sofa for any guests who want to join in on the action, and of course, your helm station. Here at the helm, we have twin displays with Noble Tech navigation systems complete with 3D charts and radar. We also have twin engine and throttle controls, as well as new gauges for the 6.8 liter John Deere 330 horsepower engines installed in 2017. Next, follow me down into the lower salon. Stepping down into the lower salon, we arrive in what feels like a private suite with incredible water views. Aft and to port, we have a mahogany bar outfitted with granite countertops, a china cabinet, stemware, and bottle storage. This bar conveniently conceals a washer and dryer. There's a TV that hides away in a granite topped mahogany cabinet facing the L-shaped seating area that is finished nicely with an elegant workstation. Continuing forward on the starboard side brings us to the galley. Down here you will find the full amenities of any modern day home. On the port side there is a double basin sink, a full size refrigerator and freezer, a microwave, a four burner cooktop, and a dishwasher. To starboard is an oven and a trash compactor. Immediately forward of the galley is the crew space which has over under bunks, a shower stall, and an ensuite. There are three cabins on board, which we'll take a look at now. We're gonna jump around a little bit, starting with the master. This full beam master suite features a centerline queen berth and is replete with storage on both sides. 
There are two rectangular windows on either side, which let in natural light while adding to her exterior aesthetic. Prior to leaving the master, there is an ensuite to port. There are two guest cabins, which are nearly identical, each with twin berths and an overhead Pullman bunk. The starboard guest cabin has an ensuite with a shower. Our next stop on the Jean Mary is the flybridge. There is a captain's chair at the helm, flanked by two co-pilot's chairs. If relaxing under the bimini isn't your thing, there's a generous open air seating area just aft of the radar mast. Continuing even further aft is the boat deck, which houses the new Varanian tender that is brought on board by a hydraulic crane. Finally, let's talk about her performance. One of her strongest selling points are her essentially brand new John Deere 6.8 liter diesels. They're as quiet as they are efficient. A light cruise of six knots boasts an efficiency of three gallons per hour, while those who would like more speed can expect a 12 knot cruise accompanied by a burn rate of 14 gallons per hour. Another major engine room upgrade are her two generators, one 15 kW and the other a 16 kW, which is brand new. In the yachting world, it's nearly impossible to weather the storms of evolving style and a fluctuating economy. However, when someone cracks the code and carves out their niche, that's when we start to appreciate the craftsmanship and skill that was there all along. On behalf of Dennis and Yachting and myself, Patrick Hopkins, I want to thank you for coming along this walkthrough today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me or leave a comment below.